15 Facts Celebrating the Life of Kobe Bryant Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Aluxers, welcome back. Like millions of people all over the world, here at Alux, we were shocked to hear of the news of the passing of basketball legend Kobe Bryant. To fans of the sport, he was simply one of the greatest of all time. And even to those of us who aren't that familiar with basketball, he was one of the world's most recognizable sports personalities. He shined not only on the court, but in all other areas as well. So to pay our respects, we've decided to take a look at his incredible life and to celebrate it with these 15 amazing facts about Kobe Bryant. Number 1. He joined the LA Lakers when he was just 17, and he became only the sixth NBA player to be drafted straight from high school. Playing in the high school league in Pennsylvania, he became the league's highest scorer ever. So it didn't take long before invitations from the NBA came flooding in, and the team that snapped him up first wasn't the Lakers, but the North Carolina team, the Charlotte Hornets. But it seems the Hornets had no idea who they had gotten their hands on. Not only was he their 13th choice, but they immediately traded him to the LA Lakers for Serbian player Vlade Divac. Bryant made his mark immediately on the Lakers team, helping them win NBA titles in both of his first two seasons, as well as three more titles throughout his 20-year career in LA. Number 2. He also did well academically If Bryant hadn't become a basketball pro, it's fair to say he still would have done well in another field. He performed well on his SATs with an overall score of 1080. Combined with his basketball skills, this would have guaranteed him entry to a good college. But for Kobe, there was no doubt about what direction he was headed in, and he made the decision to skip college and go pro straight from high school. And thanks to his victories in the high school league, he was already basically a celebrity in that realm. And being the celebrity he was, when it came to his senior prom, he wowed his fellow pupils by taking along R&B star Brandy as his date. Number 3. Kobe spent a lot of his childhood in Italy His dad, Joe Bryant, was also a basketball player, and when he retired from the NBA, he decided to play in the Italian league and took his whole family with him, staying there until Kobe was 14. In interviews, Kobe often said that Italy always had a special place in his heart, and he even became fluent in Italian. In the days since Kobe's death, with the outpouring of grief from all around the world, a huge amount has come from Italian fans. In the town of Reggio Emilia, where Kobe lived for two years, the mayor has already decided to name a square in the town after him. Number 4. In Italy, he also developed a love for soccer. For his first few years in the country, Kobe's go-to sport wasn't basketball, but soccer, and he also became a lifelong fan of Italian team AC Milan. In fact, if things hadn't turned out differently, he could have ended up becoming a soccer player. Perhaps the main reason this didn't happen was because of his grandfather, who used to send him videos of NBA games via the postal service. Remember, these were the days before the internet. As a result, Kobe fell in love with basketball and started to play the sport seriously, but he stayed a huge fan of soccer throughout his life and was known to appear in charity soccer matches, giving us a taste of what could have been if he had stayed in the sport. Number 5. He was named after a Japanese food delicacy in 1979, when Pamela and Joe Bryant gave birth to their third child, they had an unusual source of inspiration for naming him. After seeing Kobe beef on a restaurant menu, they decided they liked the name and named him Kobe. Early on in his career, Bryant even visited the city where the beef comes from and that he shares his name with. And while he was there, he also made a donation to a relief effort following a major earthquake in Kobe. And let's not forget that for most of his career, he was also known affectionately by another name, Black Mamba. This one was chosen by Bryant himself. After seeing the film Kill Bill, he was drawn to Uma Thurman's character, who had the codename Black Mamba. A mamba is a snake with a deadly ability to strike with speed and precision, qualities that Bryant was known for on the court, and this prompted him to take the nickname for himself. And since then, whenever we heard the words Black Mamba, we've always thought of Kobe. Number 6. 
He holds the record for the second highest score by an individual in an NBA game. In January 2006, in a game against the Toronto Raptors, Bryant scored an incredible 81 points. These points were crucial, as the game was closer than you might think, finishing at 122 to 104. Kobe's score in this game has only been bested once in an NBA game, in 1962, when Wilt Chamberlain took home 100 points for the Philadelphia Warriors. Number 7. As well as the five NBA league titles Bryant won, he's also won two Olympic gold medals in the 2008 Olympics in Beijing and the 2012 Olympics in London. Both finals saw the USA taking on the Spanish team, and as you would expect, Bryant was instrumental in leading the USA to gold. Number 8. Kobe and Vanessa Bryant had four daughters together and were married for 20 years. Tragically, the death of Kobe and their second daughter Gianna came just weeks after the couple celebrated their 20th wedding anniversary. They first met in 1999, when Kobe was 21 and Vanessa was 17, and were married just six months later. At the time, Bryant's parents objected to the marriage and even refused to attend it. This was partly because they were unhappy about them getting married at such a young age, and also because they had objections to Kobe marrying a woman who wasn't African American. However, thankfully, they all put their differences aside with the birth of their first daughter, Natalia, in 2003. Number 9. He was well known for his relentless work ethic, which sometimes even made him difficult to work with. Examples of this include his habit of practicing alone in a dark court before anyone else had gotten there, and being the last one to leave. He also insisted that Nike shave a few millimeters off the bottom of a shoe to improve the reaction time by a fraction of a second. And even though he suffered from injuries later on in his career, he was known for never giving up and often demonstrated a high pain threshold. He also loved being booed by the crowd and often stated that this just made him work harder. Number 10. Bryant's net worth was estimated at a staggering $500 million, making him one of the richest athletes of all time. As well as his NBA league earnings, a lot of this came from a long list of brands that he endorsed. His first deal, which he signed with Adidas, earned him $48 million and resulted in his signature KB8 shoe. He later switched to Nike and also had endorsements with Sprite, McDonald's, and Nutella, among others. You can add to that Nintendo's NBA courtside, as well as appearances on Guitar Hero World Tour and Call of Duty Black Ops, and now the $500 million he made starts to make more sense. And how can we forget his appearances with Lionel Messi on Turkish Airline ads, in which the two sports aces are competing to impress a kid with their skills? Number 11. Bryant put the same discipline he used on the court to his business ventures, and he had a lot of these aside from his endorsements. In 2013, he co-founded the venture capital firm Bryant Steibel, along with his business partner Jeff Steibel. The firm currently has $2 million in assets with investments in tech giants like Dell and Alibaba, as well as having smaller startups on their books. And independently of the firm, Bryant also backed the sports drink Body Armor. The deal made him millions of dollars, proving that he had an eye for smart investments whenever he saw one. Number 12. Charity Projects When it came to giving something back, Bryant was on top of his game there too, contributing to a number of worthwhile social causes. These include After School All-Stars, which provides after-school programs for underprivileged children across the U.S., as well as the Kobe Bryant China Fund, which raises money in China for health and education. And through the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation, Bryant helped underprivileged young people develop physical and social skills through sport. Number 13. Music Career Along with all of his other ventures, he also had a go at a career in music, but this time it didn't take off. From his high school days, Bryant was a budding rapper. Once he became a celebrity, Sony came knocking to sign a record deal with him, seeing the appeal of having a basketball star on their label. An album was planned for release in 2000, but when the first single flopped, the album was ditched. Bryant put this failure behind him and didn't make any more serious attempts in music. Just a good example of knowing when to stick with what you're good at. 
But we can be pretty sure that Kobe never regretted his venture into music, because that's how he met his wife, Vanessa. While he was working on his album, the 17-year-old Vanessa happened to be in the building while she was filming a music video as a background dancer. Knowing how to make the most of an opportunity on and off the court, Kobe struck up a conversation and asked her out on a date. The rest is history. Number 14. Even if his career in music didn't go as planned, Kobe did end up making his mark on Hollywood in a way that was completely unexpected. In 2015, when he announced his retirement from basketball, he wrote a heartfelt poem he titled Dear Basketball. In the poem, Bryant recalls falling in love with the sport as a six-year-old boy. The poem was turned into a short animated film by veteran Disney animator Glenn Keane. And incredibly, it took the Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film, adding an Oscar to Kobe's list of awards. In his acceptance speech, Kobe said, As basketball players, we're really supposed to shut up and dribble, but I'm glad we're doing a bit more than that. And Kobe definitely proved that while he was amazing at dribbling, he could do a lot more. Number 15. And finally, Bryant currently stands as fourth on the list of the highest scorers ever in the NBA. Ironically and tragically, he'd been in third place until just hours before the accident that took his life. Just a day before he died, LA Lakers superstar LeBron James overtook him to claim the third spot. James had talked about just how much Kobe had inspired him, and in Kobe's final tweet, gracious as ever, he congratulated James with the message, continuing to move the game forward. Much respect, my brother. It's clear that Kobe Bryant had many, many talents, as well as immense determination. And even if he'd hung up his basketball boots, without a doubt, he would have continued to shine and could have given the world so much more. Aluxers, we'd like to ask you, of all Kobe Bryant's achievements, which one stands out the most to you? And finally, as you've stayed with us for this long, it's time for the bonus fact about Kobe Bryant. The people we feature here on Alux are high achievers, and many of them can surely boast impressive award cabinets in their homes. But here's a truly unique fact about Kobe Bryant. In the world of sports, there aren't many symbols of achievement greater than an Olympic gold medal. The gold standard of recognition in the world of film is an Oscar. And correct us if we're wrong, but as far as we can tell, the only person who's ever been awarded both of these is none other than Kobe Bryant. And that's on top of the five times he's held up the NBA trophy. A final fact that reminds us just how unique and multi-talented this individual was. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.